if I may ask you this question, what kind of fats and oil are you actually consuming into your system? Are you consuming the right fats that your body can actually benefit from? That can nourish your body from the inside? Or are you consuming that bad fat that gradually finds your way to the lining of the artery, gradually blocking it, and that might later lead to coronary heart disease? And at last, that might finally cause heart attack or stroke? In this video, I am going to tell you and show you how you can prevent this dangerous fat and oil from coming into your system because they are not good to human head. They are very dangerous. That is why you need to avoid them by all means. And I'm also going to tell you exactly where all these fats and oil are coming from because you might be taking your eyes off the area that they might be coming from. So I'm going to show you where they are coming from so that you learn how to avoid them when you see them. How are you all doing today? I trust God that you are doing very great. My name is Atibu Aimi and I welcome you to Atibu Aimi TV. If you've not subscribed to this channel, please consider yourself subscribing because there are lots of useful informations that are already on this channel. And there are more to come. I don't want you to miss out on them. You have nothing to lose when you subscribe than to gain. Please, when you are subscribing, don't forget to click that notification bell. That bell is very important. So you'll be the very first special person to be notified when I put up a new video. Thank you. Now, back to the matter on ground. Before I continue with this message, I must not fail to let you know that I am not a medical doctor. I am not a head nurse. I'm only just sharing what is actually working for me with you. So, if you have any head issue, the best person to talk to is your doctor. He or she is in the right position to be able to give you the right advice, what to do, and all that you need to know. I thought I should let you know. Now, the topic of today is about fat and oil. What is actually fat and oil? Fat and oil are also classified as lipids. L-I-P-I-D-S. So, anywhere you come across lipids, know exactly that they are talking about fat and oil and this fat and oil are a combination of saturated and unsaturated fats today i am only going to talk about the saturated fats when we talk about saturated fat what is actually saturated fat i'll tell you saturated fats are those fats that goes solid at room temperature. When the weather is a little bit cold, you see, this saturated fat go very, very hard. As you can see in this picture. And again, where actually are we going to find the saturated fat that I'm talking about? Where are they actually coming from? I'm also going to tell you, this saturated fat, this bad fat that I'm talking about, can be found in animal, poultry, and dairy products. Let's start with animal, cow, because almost everybody eats cow meat. Very few people that don't actually eat cow meat. Don't get me wrong, I am not saying cow meat is bad to eat. But what are the parts in cow are you actually consuming into your system? Like this? red meat without this bad saturated fat attached to it or are you consuming those bad parts that carries a lot of saturated fat 
parts like cow tail, cow leg, grinded beef, and there's another one they call tozo. For those of you from Nigeria, you should know what I'm talking about. Tozo is big men meat in Nigeria. It's only the big men that can afford to buy tozo because tozo is most expensive part in cow in Nigeria. So when all these big men wives are going to the market, you see their husband telling them, when you are coming from the market, make sure you buy tozo. You know, I love to eat tozo. Not knowing that all these men, they've been eating the very wrong fats into their system. And some of them, and some of them are still eating it now. And don't get me wrong. I used to eat all this meat that we are talking about. There's no food I will cook that I will not add all this fat. If they are not in my food, I will not eat them because these are the kind of cow parts I grew up with. Yes. But now I know better. I have to find one way or the other to do away with all this meat. I no longer crave for them. I won't lie to you. It, it was very, very difficult for me to be able to get get rid of all this meat out of my life. But I had to. Because my head come first. That's the, the sweet taste of those bad saturated fats. It's the bad saturated fat that is making all this cow part to be very tasty. They are <laughs> those bad saturated fats. Oh, and they are so bad. They, they, they make all these parts of cow to be very, very delicious when you are eating them. I know some of you were also brought up with this kind of cow parts. It's going to be very difficult. Try as much as possible to do away with all this meat, especially as adults. We don't need this anymore. I know it's hard. Then you have to try because your head is your weight. Yes, try. If I can't do it, I believe you can do it too. Try and do away with them. They are not beneficial to our head at all. <laughs> Especially that tozo that I'm talking about. Oh my God, it's very, very, very delicious when you are eating it. They are all bad. Try and do away with them. These are the fats. That go and block the artery, finally leading to stroke and heart disease. And just look at all the white parts inside this cow part. They are all saturated fats. That is not good for the arteries. Just tell me. Take a close look at them. Is there any way you can be consuming the the, the right part that is in it without consuming these white patches along with it? There's no way you can avoid those saturated fat. That is why you have to try as much as possible to do away with them. I know it's hard. Take your time. Do them gradually. Before you know it, you'll be out of them. For head's sake.